This is a new Inkless video, it's a tutorial of Pokesalve, which I've been asked to do by many people. Um, I'm just going to show you what my take on it is. Normal people will just do the AR codes and try and do them. This is a different version of that, this is really just an easier way. Just to show you quickly that um, the R4 is plugged in. Here is the files, you just click games and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Here's Pokemon Diamond NDS and the SAV file. That's quite important to know. So just close that. Load up PokeSav. And PokeSav should load in a second. Um, yeah, there we go. Now most people would just edit all this and edit all this and edit all this and then go to ARDS code output but that's not really what I, so I do I'll go normally I, I used to do that then I discovered a better way which, which never fails so I'll go to open and because it only lets you open sav or dat files I just choose pokemon diamond dot sav and I hit open and it preloads all your like all your settings already in to the game so it shows you that I've done my game in 19 hours 2 minutes and 49 seconds the bag has got everything in it key items you can have all of it you can click all for all that um, score I don't know what that is something about the trainer card but you can edit that to anything you want but this isn't the main thing the main thing is that this just preloads everything I'm not going to be playing around down there because I don't really need to right and now I, I don't want to edit any of my Pokemon in my team so I'm going to show you what I normally do I like this team, this team's quite a good one. So I'll show you what I normally do in a case like this. I've gone Power Park, I know you can't really see it down there. You go to edit and you choose whatever Pokemon you want. For this sake of example, let's choose B Drill, whatever you want. Item you can give it whatever you want again, doesn't really matter. Blue flute, trainer ID, input own ID, that generally helps if you want to change the name or something later in the game, it'll be detected as your own. Level you can choose from one to one hundred. Friendship 0 for hate, 100 for love. That's really pretty self explanatory. But attribute, you can click create. And this just gives your, own, your Pokemon your, his own sort of persona, if you, if, you, if you get my meaning. You can choose whatever nature, so docile nature, class. First, I've heard rumors that first and second are nothing, but some people say that first means that when it evolves, it will keep its same ability or if it's second class it will change to the ability of the next evolution generally I click first because I just think it sounds better to have first class gender this one's male and this one's female anyone could get it confused because it's got a little question mark but that's male and obviously this little thing down here shiny you can click for shiny or click unclick for shiny it, I'm going to leave it as shiny I've never seen a shiny before but there you go Pokerus, you can leave it infected or cured, but you can leave both blank, so you can get both possibilities. But you can click infected and it will always stay infected, or you can click cured and it will always stay cured. That's generally what you should know, that it will never change unless you edit it on Pokerus app again to change. I generally click infected because of the stats boost and I hope it will infect my legit legitimate Pokemon. So the individual values can only go up to 31. Um, you can mess around with them and put like 9999 or something in, but uh, you don't actually, not allowed to put anything else. So I generally put all max, and it will preload 31 into all of them. Effort values is pretty much the same as that, it will just, you can choose all 85 or you can hit all max and it will be 255 each one. If you mess around with these too much and do like 9999 and every single one, you, when you go to stats edit and you hit all max, it will screw up these stats and these stats get screwed up and you deposit into the box in Pokemon in the uh, PC it will screw up the entire stats when you withdraw it it won't be 999 anymore it will be completely screwed up so I generally make it as legit as I can and leave them selected as only that and then just hit OK original name you just have Beedra loaded there but there will be some spaces afterwards, so you just click and hit delete a few times. You can choose own original trainer's name. That's quite good if you want to change the name later in the game. 
train agenda I think you can just change the agenda from the normal size again pokeball you can ca catch it in you can choose whatever ball from all the balls in the game I'm going to choose safari ball just because the ability most people will do wonder guard all the way at the bottom because only super effective moves will hit but because beedrill is bug type and it's going to be weak to fire types I'll choose flash fire so that he'll absorb the fire type attacks um, moves you can choose any moves from the game pp ups or mac will just add three again it's best if you do that so that it can give a um, sort of look of legitimacy pp you just edit to whatever you want so 99 this is, this is all right you don't it doesn't fuck up your game so just 99999 down um moves you can choose whatever you want i'm going to choose razor leaf assurance whirlwind and aeroblast and now those the moves it will be using in the game. Met level that's just a level you met at, so you can change it to one, to nine, to zero, to six, to sixty-four, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to say sixty-seven, just for the sake of example. Met in you can choose wherever you've met it in the whole game. But if you go all the way down here, you can find weird places, like you found him in the. Um, Pokemon movie, faraway place, Pokemon Ranger, lovely place, Pokemon movie, co Pokemon cartoon, Space World, Space Worlds, Pokemon Festival, Poke Park, etc., etc., PC, Tokyo, etc., all these ones, Nintendo World, Nintendo Event, etc. You can choose any of them. I'm going to choose Wi Fi Gift just so, for the sake of example. Date Met, that's just a date you met, so I'm just going to put 2008 month. Third month, date twenty third. Um, egg. Nothing really special about it. You just change it if you want it to be an egg, and you choose a level of the egg. I don't know what it is. I generally don't use eggs because I've completed the game, so I can't bother to play it anymore that much. I only really use it for Wi-Fi. Hometown. The main thing is you can just choose any sort of game from Colosseum, Sinnoh, Pokemon Diamond, Johto, Kanto, Hoenn. I generally try and make it look as legitimate as I can, so I'll go from wherever it's from. So, Kanto Leaf Green makes sense. Egg, you can change the number of steps if it's an egg. You don't have, mine's not an egg, so you don't click that. If unknown, Burmia Worm Adam, Shellos Gastrodon, or Deoxys is loaded in this Pokemon here, you'll change the shape so you can have unknowns A to Z, Burmia Worm Adam's plan, etc. Shellos and Gastrodon's east or west, and Deoxys forms below that. Um, under there is just a load of contest stuff, condition stuff, contest. I don't really play around with that. Um, country, I'm, I don't really mess around with it because it doesn't matter what thing it does on my game, but if you want to do your own country, you can do that. I don't know what Fateful Encounter is, so I don't really mess around with it. And hidden values or hexes, I don't really mess around with them either. I'm going to click cancel because I don't really need it. But what I do after I edit that and it's loaded here, it would be loaded there. All the settings from edit will be loaded here. You just hit save. Save it in a separate file because it will be saved as PKM. You hit cancel because I'm not really saving anything. And after that, you hit can you'd hit OK there. And then um, once it's saved, you could remove it from Power Park. Go to your storage because you can't edit your you can't edit the stats in storage. So you have to go to load and load one from the previous save. Um, I hope that's cleared up my own take on PokerSouth because people have asked me what what, you, what do you do, it's hard, what do you do, what codes, why is it not working. This is, I don't really play around with codes anymore because I've noticed a better way. Below there you, you can just see Repel Spray, you can edit that to whatever you want. I can't really get further than that so I guess that's the end of the video. When it's finished you just hit save and you will save all your settings to your game. Uh, thanks for watching the tutorial, I guess, and I hope to be making some more videos pretty soon. If you have any questions, you can PM me, or you can give me some suggestions for new tutorials. Um, yeah. So, see you later, guys.